Yo yo guys, this is the Amnesia Zobo Doe, short for short, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Today we are going to get through the second half of Team Rocket's hideout, and oh my god, I almost got spotted there, but yeah, first things first, we need to take care of these two lackeys. Intruder alert! Well, finally someone said it. I was definitely not going to say it in this episode. So thank you for telling it off for me. And yes, who would have guessed I would actually encounter a Grimer here? Not me. And uh, minimize his dick move, don't use it. And, oh boy. Can we actually finish out with Pursuit? Yes, Trivial Pursuit, here we go! I won that set of questions, get out of here. And we have Kabang again! And yes, we do have audio in this episode. So yes, we're not going to do th things more complicated than we usually do, so let's... Let's just continue on with the audio all good and intact, and... Overall, I didn't think that it was really that bad. I mean... I mean, when I first discovered that I actually forgot to configure the speakers, I was like, oh god, really? And yeah, I was actually kind of disappointed at first, but when I actually got into the video, when I, um... When I just basically watched it, I just, I didn't really think it was all that bad, so... I can't do it. I might consider actually doing episodes like that in the future, but who knows. Self scope <clears throat> I don't know where it is. And of course you don't know where it is. I mean, you only work here, so... Uh... I'll just sneak by here and tap you on the elbow. Why did you come here? I came here to humiliate your boss. That's what I was here for. I'm just one ten-year-old kid sneaking through an entire hideout and defeating Team Rocket like there's no tomorrow. I mean, who would actually do that at that age? I mean, that is kind of that is kind of strange. And yes, we have a Eradicate, and... Too bad, you're still underleveled. Man, what is Eradicate and underlevel these days? I mean, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, they level up at level 20. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think they do. Of course, I could check Bulbapedia just to make sure for clarification, but... I'm just gonna go on the ball and say that... They level up at level 20. Okay, cool. Yeah, nothing but Rattata and Eradicate. Very... Very dull. This won't do. Okay, I'll talk. Take the Alvera to see my boss. Okay, uh... Does the Alvera only work by key only, though? Oh, I guess it doesn't. I I guess I forgot that you don't exactly need a card key to operate the elevator, but... It was good to check. It, oh, oh, I was right. So we need to get the key somewhere else. And yeah, this was actually kind of a bad time to go through the conveyor belt right now. So we should probably go upstairs here at the basement first floor. And we have a blueprint room, and we have a door, which you can't apparently open without a key of some sort. And I think, I mean, I think I've been through this entire corridor here already, so we should probably go back down here. And, oh yeah, we didn't check this floor yet. And am I going to get spotted? No, I am not. Wow, you don't really have keen eyesight, eh, buddy? We got word from upstairs that you were coming. Yeah, that guy that who was looking at the poster was probably telling you guys, like intruder alert or something. Hey, this kid is just gonna go down into the hideout and just basically beat some guys up. Something like that. Yeah, it would be kind of funny if a young guy like myself would actually penetrate entire hideout like that. I mean. I mean, people don't usually, I mean, little kids really aren't that nosy. I mean, we wouldn't really, we're not really supposed to meddle with adults' affairs, you know, I mean. 
Because, I mean, this is actually supposed to be kind of an adult thing to do here. What? I lost? No! Yes. And thank you for t giving me your money. Go ahead and go. But you can't run the elevator without the lift key. Could this but Oh, that may be a lift key right over there, but you never be too sure. Oh, frustration. Yeah, I'm definitely frustrated by this. I don't think I'm going to teach it to a Pokemon, but who knows? Maybe I might just be more charitable and change my mind. Okay, so now we're back to this gauntlet again, and let us get this item over here. Cool, rare candy. I will definitely use this uh, in the future. You know, actually, no. Let us... Uh, if I stop looking at my trainer card for a second. Come on, controller. Don't be so sensitive on me. Let's see. Um, there should be a rare candy in here. Uh... If I'm not mistaken, yes, there we are. And I think... You know what, let us start off... Uh, let's see, a boy bird and Prometheus. Uh, which one do we pick? Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So first things first, we are going to be... Okay, which... I think we go in this direction this time. Go left and let's go right and then out of sight we go this way because that's always right. Whoa! What? I'm only like two tiles from you. How come you can't really see me from here? Do you really have bad vision or what? Stop mailing in Team Rocket's affairs or else. Do you have like bad Superman infrared vision or like what? Because, man, you... <laughs> I think you need glasses there. If you can't really see me that well. And let us actually change back to Charizard. Eevee will get her illusion sometime, but just not right now. I will probably do that when I'm grinding off using the Versus Seeker or something like that. Something of that nature. And yes, I will be using the Versus Seeker. Because I personally don't think the Versus Seeker is cheating. So there. I just, I don't think it is. I mean, I think it's really a faster way of grinding up. I mean, especially if you're doing an LP like this. Because, I mean, I know a lot of people don't exactly want to grind up their Pokemon off screen a lot. I mean, it's just, it's kind of a tedious task to do. I mean, you know. <laughs> and we have here a Drowsy. Good night, Drowsy. Good night. Oof, taken down. Taken down, and I will add an Achalorondo here. Subscope? Oh, that machine the boss stole. It's here somewhere. How don't you know the device that you guys stole if, like, I mean, wouldn't the boss actually give you, like, a presentation of, like, wow, black glasses? Wouldn't the boss actually give you some sort of presentation, like, on what the device actually does? I mean, you'd be like, Hey guys, we stole the self scope. Here's what it does, you know, and make sure that it doesn't get, doesn't fall into the wrong hands or something like that. Cause it will, it will soon fall into the wrong hands here. Or in this case, it will fall into the right hands. And we have here a snatch. Okay. Well, I will snatch you by the arm. The elevator doesn't work. Who has the left key? Not me, apparently. Key to get in the left key. I see. You must defeat me. Coughing. Coughing. And wow, I still haven't switched out. No, that really matters anyway, because I mean we're totally leveled up already for Erica. Oh, self-destruct is a stupid move. Why would you do that? Sorry, but self-destruct or any kamikaze move like that is. That's just poor training there. That's just definitely poor training. I don't know why you have that move anyway, unless it was really something that, that, uh, you know, desperate. And of course he would carry Zubat along. Who else in Team Rocket doesn't carry Zubat? No! Oh no! I dropped the lift key like a dumbass. 
Yeah. Mine now. Finder Skeepers. Losers Sweepers. Losers Weepers. Okay. Now let's go back to that elevator. Let's see. Where we... Yeah, we are. And now with the audio finally in, let us speed this up. Because definitely speeding up is a lot better than the other way around, you know. I mean... It's better to have audio to speed up than audio to not speed up, you know. Do you dig? Okay, now let us go to the elevator here. Hooray, hopefully the combination works. Yes. Let's go down to the very bottom floor. Yeah, that's right. Because you know me, I'm a 10-year-old kid who is sneaking through this entire hideout like there is no today. And whoa. Why is there just an item just sitting around here on this table? Calcium. Why would they leave a drug on the table? I mean... To me, I think that's just bad cartel carteling there, yeah. I know, you, you ruined our plans on Mount Moon. I didn't really see you there. I mean, did you just kind of spy on me or like what? And why am I not at... Yeah, I'm still a Burry Bird. Oh, uh, whatever. It's not like you're gonna level up from this fight anyway. There we are! Hardy har har! And Ekans. Okay, I will definitely switch back to Wing Dragon of Doom. Which is Prometheus. Prometheus strikes again. Steal the fire from this, uh. Pot. Uh, no. I was about to say, like, Vire or something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about here, I don't know what to come up with. I don't know what word to come up with here, like, I mean, what is a better description of what I- Oh, Sand Slash, hello! Well, there's definitely something to talk about here, considering that you are the evolved form of a shrew. I do believe you're a desert mouse or something. You're like a giant desert mouse with, you know, porcupine hair and all that. And why? It's a flamethrower. It's fire. I mean, how is it supposed to dodge that? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, don't... Don't mess it up with me now, uh, Prometheus. Okay, burned again. Wow, speaking of the devil, I actually used flamethrower, so... How coincidental that act, that ending dialogue would actually happen like that. Do you have something against Team Rocket? Yes, I do have something against Team Rocket. I am for justice. How can you not see the beauty of our evil? And why can't I do, like, the simplest tasks, like, switching back to my primary starter? I mean, come on. And why am I lisping? I mean, I'm... Not that it's really all that unusual, but... Come on, I'm a lot better at talking like this, I mean... Okay, so... Now they have Ekans out of the way. What else do you have on your person right now? Sandshrew, okay. Well, finally someone... with a better set of Pokémon. When compared to, like, Zubat and Rattata. Okay, so... Can I do with Desert Mice? I do that. Desert Mouse's Arbok, yes, finally. Finally someone with a Charbok. Charbok. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's exactly what I do with Cobras. Cobra. And how dare you? Did I actually buy an antidote? I hope I did. Because if I didn't, then I am screwed for right now. Oh, cool! I th yeah, I do. I do remember going to the department store and buying some antidotes here. It's a good thing I stocked up on some more. And bite is a dick move, and cut is a is a dick move if it misses. Will you please make the cut? Yes, you can. And we need a heal up, scat. Ay ay ya! Ay ya 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 ya! 
Boss, I'm sorry I failed you. Right. Well, you can tell him you can tell to him like right here, because I am just about to challenge him. And why did I do that? I mean Charizard's right here. He is the one that needs healing, because I'm gonna be switching out to him like very soon. Okay. I think that'll do. And why would yeah. Why would I do the same thing over again? I mean, come on, controller. Cooperate with me, please. And with this one, there shall be an Allegro with a Forte. I don't know. Hello, Giovanni. So, I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important duels for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader, Giovanni. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see when I actually get to make a wedgie right in front of you. I mean, I'm gonna pull a wedgie on you, Giovanni. Like there's like, <laughs> like as if I'm Roy dissing of dissing adults like you are. Uh, excuse me, like I am. Ah, uh, can't talk. As usual, I can't really talk because I'm just kind of tired today. I don't know why, my... Since I'm recording this during the weekends, I just... I just, my sleep pattern is just kind of weird during the weekends. I don't really know why. I mean, that's not really something that I really should reveal all in public. And first time we ever saw a Rhyhorn. Too bad that was a very disappointing presence. Very disappointing. Debut in Kangaskhan, there we go. Something a lot better than a sand shoe could ever aspire to be. And I will definitely burn your your child in that pouch that you have. Oh, I made child abuse, and it was a critical. Well done. Well What's it like being the boss now, Giovanni? What? This can't be. Yes, it definitely happened. I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. Gong, gong. Obtain the self scope, yes. I was wondering what that was. And you know, Team Rocket and their disappearing acts, so. Let's go back up to the first floor. And let us go and... What? Are you lost, you little mouse? Why are you here? I mean, I just beat your boss. Why... Why would it be necessary to actually challenge me now? I mean... Why do you feel the need to actually challenge me? When I just... When I actually just stormed through your hideout like in two episodes. Yeah. You should have a really good explanation for that. You should have a really docile explanation for that. For that. Yeah. Okay, so Prometheus is a level 42. That will do for right now. Why? Why does some 10 year old kid beat me up? As if I'm really that cool. Uh oh, that ruckus somehow opened the door. Yeah. Taking Legend of Zelda logic, a door opens when I beat up a rocket grunt. Yeah, that's, that's probably the best logical explanation for that. And we march in triumph to the Pokemon Center. The triumph music is playing. I am marching with dignity and poise and no disgrace for me. We're back. And with this, I think we should leave a code at that, and next time on Pokemon Fire Red, we are going to be challenging the fourth gym leader. Yeah, I was... I actually kind of bit my tongue there, but anyway, see you guys next time.